Hi, it's Emma. This is Serendipity. Is that okay? Wrong? That was cute. Okay, so serendipity is um, when you're in the right place at the right time and good things happen. I happen to be in the right place and the right time and now met my current boyfriend who lives in Australia who I am going to live with for five weeks in four days. I would never have done that. That is serendipity. So serendipity is the happiness, the good things that come out of random meetings, random things that happen for a reason and then there's a little bit of me sprinkled right up in there. Emma, serendipity, so. I spilled on my leg. I spilled on my leg. I am from a small town, uh, Breckenridge, Colorado, which is about, I think it's 9,000 feet above sea level. This is a virtual journal. Um, I have always wanted to be that kind of person who had a really cool journal or a cool diary that I always went and sat back down in my room after a big event. Dear diary, oh, I fell in love this day. But I've never been, I've never been that way. I can't write out my feelings because I just get body bored. Um, I like talking to myself, so I thought, why not put a camera in front, in front of the talking? Just life and I'm taking chances and seeing what comes from it. Um, I also want to incorporate my love of makeup and my love of adventure and also talk about um, how it's also really scary because I suffer from anxiety. So it's not just someone who can go out and do these things. I am a kind of person who I really have to amp myself up and I have to have the awesome support of my family to do so and it's I'm excited to document it and also nervous. Like I said, I just want to be able to have a virtual journal. It's almost like a scrapbook that I get to go and see. One of my favorite things about uh, the family that I grew up in was we did film things. We made fun videos, you know, in the basement, in my like older sister's room, and we did these kind of things and always had that creative outlet. And then it kind of fizzled out. But I, so much of my core personality and my memories come from that, and I want to start that up again. Yeah, this one's hard because I really freaking love YouTubers. Um, I would say Zoella is my number one homie. You so good, girl. Like, I hope it's appropriate for me to say Katie and Desi Perkins, like, as one, because I feel like they're just such a unit. <laughs> I love them so much. Flying the Nest, these this wonderful couple from Perth, they were the people who I found when I got nervous to go to Perth because I, when you think of Australia, all you think of is Sydney. Sorry, Australia, but it's true. And I couldn't find anything about Perth, and that kind of eases my anxiety. Going places, I like seeing what the city's going to look like and what the atmosphere is before I go. It's just a way for me to deal with stuff. Um, I know some people like the excitement of traveling somewhere new, but I like to have a little bit of insight. Um, in my real life, I'd say my older sister Hannah inspired me to actually go for it. I've been talking about it a lot for, I feel like, a few years. and. It's been between, you know, just doing like a makeup channel or just a vlogging channel or just something because I'm so inspired by YouTubers. And finally, with this big leap of faith that I'm taking to go to Perth in four days, um, I finally just decided to commit to it, make a channel. And that was because of Hannah. But on YouTube, I'd say it was Flying the Nest because they made me feel more comfortable to go take this risk because they're such big risk takers. Zoe and Mark. They are just <laughs> so funny. When they make their videos together, it's really like you're just hanging out with friends, and I think, oh, they'd be the funnest. They'd be such fun friends. Like, let's go to the God and Santa together. I'll come. <clears throat> um, I think, you know, just help a small town girl out, first of all. I'm like everybody else, uh, taking on some debt to follow my dreams. And also, I think I'm funny, and it's nice to laugh. A third reason is because, because why not? Why not? I'm going to be stepping out of my comfort zone really kind of aggressively, and so if you're the kind of person who likes to see people take chances, then this is perfect, right? Yeah. I'm scared of this, of traveling this far, but I think it'll be great. Um, <laughs> another thing is I love my family, so this is a really intense, pivotal moment in my life. 
And uh, lastly, I'm obsessed with Harry Styles. whipping out a camera and filming all the time, um, really staying committed to it, I think that would be hard as heck. And then editing. Some people are so naturally good at it, and that is definitely something I will have to work on. I know when I edit, I'm a lot like Grace Helbig, <laughs> so I have to be careful to not mimic um, someone's editing style so closely that that's all I can see. I want it to be my own being able to look back on this when I come back, show my family all my travels, my experiences, um, the highs and the lows, you know, life. I'm excited to see my life on film. I think, I, I would hope so. Like, I'm hoping that this is going to lead to something really cool. Uh, I've always wanted to be that person and now I'm jumping into it. Really just going in on everything right now in my life and it's, <laughs> a lot for my heart. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for watching my first YouTube video. Please like and subscribe. I hear there's a bell now that you're supposed to click, so you might as well click it. Um, but if you enjoyed it, thank you for coming. Uh, I mean, just come on back. How do I end this? Thank you for coming. I'm so happy you all could be here, and I'm excited to show you my journey. My knee pits are sweating, dude. Great, it's filming? Yes. Yeah? It says rec. It says rec on there? I have a feeling that means record. Recording. <laughs> my name is Emma, and my channel is Serendipity. Hi, welcome. How are ya? Okay, take two. It wasn't bad. I'm gonna give you some notes. <laughs> okay. Yeah! Okay. <laughs> I love it. I, when you say hi, it's Emma. Take a less of a pause so that so it sounds like, like you know what your name is. <laughs> <laughs> so you sound like you know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's the first question, what's your name? <laughs>